it is time to create our database. I already have a SQL Server installed on my system and I'm, I've opened up my SQL Server Management Studio. And right here, I'm connected to uh, three databases, AdventureWorks, you can see another AdventureWorks data warehouse, and I have a, another database that I call Practice. And within that Practice database, I have tables. I only have one secondary tables. Others are just files and external tables. And what I want to do now is to create new table. I'm going to create new and I'm going to say table. And here I can define my table. It's going to be called says order table. But let me define this table now. What are the columns that I need on it? Number one, I need ID. And my ID should be of data type int. And um, it should not allow none. And I want to make it uh, the default. So it should be auto number. To make it auto number, I have to come down to come down here identity specification then is it the identity i'm going to change this guy from no to yes all right so is identity and this is the increment i might want to select the increment but no this is fine all right so what are the other columns that i need i need customer i cannot ask for customer okay i think i need customer number i'm going to add customer number to the form so let's add customer number right here customer number yeah, it's going to be a character, 10 digit. Okay, maybe that is it. Should they allow none? No. Nope. What other column do I need? I need the uh, first name. First name. I love using camera keys. It's better, it's preferred. Number of character. Let's just make first name. 30 character. It shouldn't allow not to. Um, here, we're going to have last name. Last name here. We're going to make this 30 character as well. Then what are the other thing that we have? Okay, gender. Gender should be option male or female. Uh, I can define it from the front end based on what is coming from the form. So this is fine. All these guys should not allow now. After gender, we have email address. Email address, I can make this 100. Voucher, I can even make, I should make this Vacha, so I'm gonna type va binary, yeah, Vacha. Okay, sorry, I guess it's Vacha, okay, okay, Vacha, I'm gonna make it 100. Then, um, what else? Let's check our form. What else? After customer, yep, we have the product, we have the amount paid, so let's go to product. We're gonna I'll write here products or products this 10 let's just make this 20 based on the character that is stalling then we have amount paid uh, for amount paid going to be I can make it currency or make it int int or float depends it can have some number so let's have float here and all this guy I'm going to remove them okay amount paid is float what else do we have Training commencement dates, employment status before training commencement date. Okay, employment status, uh, employment. Okay, can make a status, uh, which is gonna be yep. Um, it could be Vacha. Let me just make this guy Vacha. Vacha 50, even all these names, it should be Vacha. Vacha, customer number Vacha 50. Let me just turn this. Ah, sorry, Vacha 50, last name, Vacha 50, gender is okay as that. Okay, others, I think I'm fine, I'm fine right there. Employment status, um, then we have training commencement dates. Training, let's say date. And this has to be date, just date. There's no need for time. And all these guys should not take none. I also want to have another one called date created. Date created. So this date created should be date time. Date time. And because it's date time, I need to also have a default. So it should have a default value, which is date time. So this is going to be the default will be sys date time. Then I'm going to open open and close. All right. It should also allow, do not allow any now. All right. So I, I, I think I'm fine. And then additional column that we're missing out. Employment status. Uh, okay, let's just add more things. Okay, um, training. Training.
training yeah, status. Is it done, in progress, or completed? Training status. Let's leave this as N um, Vacha, Vacha 50. Not now. Um, okay, employee, of course. Okay, employee name. That's the person that maybe uh, filled the form. Vacha 50. Employee email. These are the things. I'm um, sorry. Okay, employee email. Um, yeah, watch. Um, all right. So we believe all these should be provided at the point of filling the form, except those that auto generated, or maybe yeah. At least we're going to get all these from the form. This will be auto generated, and also this guy, which is the um, date created. Awesome. So I'm going to save Control S to save, and I'm going to name it says order says order table okay that is it it's going to have the default schema so it's done creating now i might have to refresh when i reload right here i'm going to see that table is expanding we now have says order i can close this guy i can right click here say select top 100 rows and right here you see everything is actually empty yeah because there's nothing on the table but we have a table now so we've created our database in the next video we're going to create, uh, we're going to go to Power Automate, install data gateway, and subsequently connect our form to this backend. Thank you.